Dum ba dee dum 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 ba dee dum 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 Oh, didn't know you were there. And look, I just got a saddle. <laughs> Good day. Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. How are you doing today? I have chosen the location of my spawn home and I got pigs growing on it and other stuff. This isn't exactly in spawn. Die butters. Um, but I'm gonna build a house or something up here on the hill. And I guess I'll use this stuff. Um, I used this stuff at my house at my other place. And thankfully it's getting daytime. I don't have to fight any more mobs. And uh, hopefully the rain will stop because all it's been doing since I've been on this server is rain and attack me with monsters. And nice boots there, buddy. I like that. Um, so this is the location of where I'm gonna build my spawn house. Spawn is that little pillar there. Hmm. I think we'll just avoid the situation and I'm gonna build some sort of bridge going across this so I can get up here so I can go to spawn better um, the old portal as of last night was over here in that little building and um, hey there goes the rain thankfully thank you we don't praise God that he ended the rain we praise Anubis praise the Anubis yes this is kind of spawn and it's still early so not a lot has been built but it is looking very good um, some servers they really I shouldn't say destroy but make ugly buildings and uh, we have a bunch of people who like dealing with nature and stuff so I'm really happy about that and I just hope that the house I build over on the hill is just as good as these houses that have been built on the server and you can see marks where people are going to be building in the future and uh, that is something I look forward to and I love these these uh, glass pillar things they're awesome doesn't black is okay there's a house over here that util, utilizes them um, I'll show you before I can't sprint anymore I guess I should get some food before I move along um, oh well they up the, upgraded the house I think this was the old house but they upgraded it. Oh, we got villagers. Should have known with the... Oh, hey, villagers. Um, yeah, awesome. The garden is so sick. Um, yeah. So let me go show you where the portal is. This was chosen, I guess, as a new spawn locator because the other portal where I used to be um, let me see if I can see it from here. All right, that's where my home is. The other portal was in that building, but they moved it over here, which is great. I'll make some sort of pathway or something over here. And this is how you get to my place. Um, I'm showing this also to the people on the server because I have a swamp right near where I am. And, um, there's slime balls right now are hard to come by on the server. Nobody's found really slime chunks or gone out of their way to find them. So you go through the portal and you go this way and don't be offended straight out of queer town. <laughs> I imagine that sign is going to be changed. I did not put that there. This is um, what our nether looks like right now. Slimes place is in there. Um, came ways up the corner. So to get to the swamp, you go up the stairs, and there's my portal. Um, I always tend to find the place far, far away. 
and I have built a house of some sort or a church. It was a church and it turned into a house, but I still have yet to sleep in a bed in the server. And the portal ends up at my place. And this is the inside. Um, it's very basic right now. I just barely have enough space for all my good stuff. Um, you know, the stuff that you need. And I have my little own fishing dog. When you come out of the portal, go through my building out towards the east, and there's the swamp in the distance. So go go over there and attack. There's my boat. You can use it, but bring it back. <laughs> um, oh, and this is my house. Uh, it looks like a tree from this angle. That tree is a little big and enormous, but uh, I like to kind of hide my stuff in nature a little bit. I've used this new pathway block or whatever, added some flowers, and you know, the portal comes out, and just in case you're out here wandering around, you can actually come through. I replaced the window. I had the same exact window over here, and I'm like, well, it's the same size as a portal, so I might as well. I have this little staircase going up into, you know, a place where you can view stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, and over here, I kind of added that tree. I made a little balcony area that's pretty much safe and you can walk around and I guess shoot arrows at people who want to attack my base but nobody wants to attack my base no never that would never happen <laughs> so um, yeah and there's a place of course I'm gonna be using the blue and I got this before I even built all of this here when it was just stripped out like it was last episode and it's from EXO he gave me four slime blocks my guess is that he came out he found out where this swamp was and far was farming some slime blocks and said oh wait this is where Keith's place is because I had a little label thing here saying this is KMA's place don't build here please and uh, so thank you EXO I'll use those slime blocks well and um, let me know what you think of this place. I kind of blocked it up a lot. I spent a whole bunch of time getting the wood and <laughs> cobble pattern right, especially up there. And on both sides, you can't really see it up there at all. So, but I'd rather have it like that than, um, you know, take place, uh, care of the details and the building will look okay. I had to get rid of all the sand over here, so I was just waiting for the, gla the grass to um, come back so I can uh, make it beautiful again. So when this grass comes back, I'll go and nail it or something. Uh, so I will be getting rid of this, and I'm probably going to tell you something I don't really want to tell you because that means I'm going to have to follow through with it. And it's a lot of work, and I hate doing that type of work. but. My farms, I think, are going to go underground in my tunnel over here. Um, so this is the walkway to the house. I kind of like it. I'm going to get rid of the torches and add the, you know, the lighting on the leaves or whatever. But I haven't even gotten any glowstone yet. Um, and over in this direction, I should make a pathway over here too. I made the chicken killer. And seeing I don't have any food on me I, I also used it as a chest to drop off stuff because I don't have a good storage right now so I'm just finding any chest I can possibly find and uh, dropping stuff off one thing I really like about this location is that it's pretty much safe um, because I lit up the pen peninsula so nothing spawns out here so even at night I can be out here pretty safe I'm pretty sure mobs don't spawn on leaves so my home away from home is I think pretty much done here on the outside but I'm gonna have a building project in here before um, my portal in the last episode was down here um, let me cut through this let me get my shovel it'll be a little quicker My portal was actually right here. I took it out and put it in the building. And um, 
so every so often from this staircase that goes down to my um, mine I'm gonna have a branch off and the thing that I hate doing but the surrounding begs for it is I'm gonna make little rooms under the ground for the f different farms and the different animals I want to collect is that last time my big issue was food now that I've got the chicken cooker my issue isn't food so um, I will be die I will be um, still breeding animals and stuff and maybe working with some wool over here I don't know uh, what's going on but I'm pretty sure the stuff is gonna happen freaking skeletons are unbelievable in this snapshot oh two of them I don't want to kill the flower um, sir sir um, okay have your day off you sure okay you can start burning up when the sun comes out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the spawn house and uh, when that's done or close to being done I'll give you a guys uh, update and one other thing that you might want to uh, know <laughs> is that I am not gonna be doing those other series or suspended right now I'm gonna focus on Athens until things calm down a little bit and I'm caught up and really ready to take on this world then I'll go back to doing the single player and the serenity server stuff but right now um, Athens is gonna be it oh, I got an arrow in the eye um, so if you're on serenity and you have some uh, wool order or something for me you gotta contact me on Twitter because I'm not gonna be logging into serenity serenity for probably a week but I'll be back I'm not leaving Okay, right, let me go build that spawn house. Sorry, don't mean to talk with my mouth full. And I'll be back. Alright, I did what was the impossible. I found some cows out here at my base away from spawn. So, um, I'm going to bring them underground and breed them. But not right this very second. Um, I did make a path over to here. And... I gotta go get some more. So let's go and take a look at my new home at spawn. It is basically finished. Basically. Um, I got a couple of minor things to do and I do have to make the bridge and the walkway out of the front area. Um, but before we show you oops somebody's made some grass blocks um before i show you the spawn that's where the thing used to be oh somebody's been working on the hub excellent um i i want to show you my banner that i made for the server hucking is here Hello. Okay, and they asked for the banners for the different people. So can you guess which one is mine? That one's XO's. That's the LGBT one. I don't know who those two are, and this one is mine. And my cat is loving it. I don't know if you could hear that, but he's like, oh, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> and in the other room, <laughs> there he goes again. So, uh, let's go over and show you my spawn house. So this is the home. I added some banners. Um, ignore those dirt blocks. I'm trying to get some grass upstairs. Maybe it's there. Like I um, had said earlier in the video, I'm going to make a walkway down to the... Um, 
water so I could fish and a bridge across to there. Um, yeah, I'm, I can get rid of most of this now. I am just get, trying to get some grass and it looks like I might have, might have succeeded. But I'll show you that in a second. Um, I had a hard time deciphering which blocks I should use and not 100% satisfied with what I ended up with, but it's a lot better than what I had. And blue is always going to be part of the scheme with me because blue is kind of my cliche thing. Uh, here's the inside, of course you got those which are kind of annoying sometimes, but whatever. Uh, the kitchen, we got our cauldron, uh, some brewing stands, the, the table, I threw some glowstone underneath the pistons to light up this area a little bit better. Finally made my ender chest, haven't even utilized it yet. Uh, this is where I'm going to keep my food eventually. Um, initially I was going to, I have this, you hear dispenser? Um, actually you didn't hear a dispenser. There's a dispenser underneath here and I was going to collect my food by hitting this button. But then I realized it was messing with the refrigerator door and it only throws out one piece of food for every click. And I'm not going to be there 64 times to click a stack of items. So I'm just going to use that as my food chest. Added a note block, added some chairs. You, you see what I add. It's, it's not nothing fancy uh, I'm not 100% sure with the white floors but it's staying for now over here um, I'm gonna have a way downstairs and this will be completed in the next video I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do down there I'm thinking same sort of thing farms and whatever but I don't know if I want two sets of farms so we go upstairs um, some globes glowstone lights keep things lit up you know a nice place to sit uh, some more storage I don't know why that doesn't say the time do the time of day I noticed that when I put it up there I'm gonna have to look into it I have my bed I can set my spawn yeah my spawn is now set here and I did get the grass in here okay so I can get rid of these um, All that I wanted these three <laughs> four things uh, grass and I'm gonna put some flower pots on here and throw some trees in there and I got my little sofa little table and you know it's not like the most exciting home ever but it's quaint it's does the job I can be up here and shoot things out there if I have a chance. Oh, now the cats are fighting. Well, wow. um, I do need some more leather so I can put and things like this on the chairs. That's the only thing I really need to do is add those end um, pieces to some chairs. I think there's one out here too. And uh, yeah, so I kind of like the way the house turned out. It could be better, but I'm not going to be overhauling every single inch of this house. Um, quickly, I probably would get rid of this cobble floor. I don't really care for it as much as I thought I would. I would probably get rid of the floor down here also. Here. <laughs> um, but it's all looking good. The only main problem I have with uh, this house is that it is in a high zombie area and I get zombie hordes almost every single night and if I'm working inside the house and I'm doing stuff zombies just show up and I start hearing my doors break and it's highly annoying <laughs> so and a couple of times I've opened this up and there's a creeper right there and he just walks right on in and you know it's like oh look at all this shit ah, don't blow it up you mother trucker um, but I don't know um, maybe I should uh, 
cut down s some trees that are right around the house and light it up a little bit. But it's really, in the grand scheme of things, not that big a deal that uh, the house is att attracts monsters. <laughs> so, I hope you like it. And uh, this basically, I'm going to have to add another light here because this is kind of dark. Let's see. Seven, yeah, that's spawnable terrain. So the beach, so the beach. So, I hope you like my new house because I am done with this episode. Uh, it's been the weekend of building. This house uh, did take a while to build, and I know I'm forgetting to show you stuff. I know I've done more since the last uh, little recording session. But I don't remember. And there's all little stuff I have to finish. Like above the the fences behind me. I had to put a row across there. So it's connected to the ceiling. So there's a lot of little stuff I have to do with this house still. But it's basically 90% done. Uh, interior and frame. Now I'm going to next episode build the walkway down to the water for the fishing and a bridge across and a path to the spawn because right now going to spawn is kind of dangerous and it you know i could run like behind me towards that house but there's a big ravine in the middle and one time i just ran didn't even notice the ravine and i jumped in and luckily i only fell like five blocks and i was able to dig myself up but i almost killed myself and we don't want to be killing ourselves no so I'm going to uh, make a path and a bridge across the ravine and a bridge across the water there and make it downstairs and start breeding some animals, um, add some farms to my place out near the war world border and I might make a mob farm out there so I can get some excellent gunpowder and stuff and have something for trade if I need stuff or actually not really for trade for giveaway so that I can be a good guy. <laughs> I like giving away stuff on uh, servers and stuff. Because, um, I don't know, it's cool to help people out. So that's what it is. It's cool to help people out. Exo is building a house there right over my head. Um, and there's a praise Anubis. But I am going to take off. Have a good day. It's Keith for KMA's Corner on the resetting of the Athens MC server. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm going to do two uh, more videos and I'm going to start my rotation of videos again. See ya. Have a good day.